You can create macros in Excel by using the macro recorder, but that doesn't record everything, and sometimes you have to type some of the code yourself. So we would like to show a message to users when they haven't selected a customer name from our drop-down list. So we're going to have to create a bit of code to do that. To get started, though, we'll use the macro recorder. And I'll come down to the bottom left and click Record Macro. And it's asking for a name. So I'm going to call this Customer Message. And we'll store it in this workbook and click OK. So now we're going to end this. That's all we want to do is create the macro. So I'll come down and click the Stop Recording button. And now to see what was created, I'm going to the View tab and I'll click Macros. And there's our macro and I'll click Edit. So it just created a shell for us, a line with the name of the macro and a few lines with comments. Everything here that starts with a, an apostrophe is just a comment line and the end sub. So we're going to type a line here that will show a message box. And the command for that is MSGBOX. And then when I type a space, it gives me some information about what I can put in that command. So the prompt is what I want to show in the message. So I'm going to start with a double quote. And then what I'd like the message box to say is select a customer name. And I'll end with another double quote. And when I click away from that row, you can see that it changes the message box command to mixed case, the capital M and B. And now to run that, I can go back to Excel. So I'll just click on it in the background. And on the View tab, I'll go to Macros again. And here's our macro. This time I'm going to click Run. And we can see the message box. So it's very plain, just a title bar, plain text, and an OK button. To catch people's eye a bit more, we'll see if we can add an icon over here that will just give a bit more impact to our message box. To get rid of it, I'll click OK. And then I'll click on the VB editor in the background. So here's our line. It's just displaying a message box with text. And I'm going to click at the end of that line of code and type a comma. And now we can see some options here for our message box. We can show a question or change the kind of button. So it could be information or have an exclamation mark on it. We're going to use this option, which is VB critical. So if I double click on that, it goes into the line of code and I'll just click away from it. So now we have the same line just with VB critical at the end. And I'm going to go back to Excel. We'll just click on it and now try running the macro again by clicking on macros, selecting our macro and click run. And now there's a same message again, same text, but now it has a bright red symbol with a, an X in it. So it looks a bit more important when the user sees it, they might take a bit more notice. So I'll click OK to close it. And you can go back into the VB editor and just click Save to save the changes that you've made.